if you've never gone to the gym a day in your life and all of a sudden tomorrow you're trying to go seven days a week, three times a day, eat no rice, no carbs, no nothing, and just jump yourself in, baby, you're not going to be consistent. You're going to start and stop. Start slow. It's okay. Hi, you guys. Welcome to a new episode of Unreserved Con Che. If you're new, bienvenido. If you're not, welcome back. My name is Shayla, and this is Unreserved Con Che, a place where we talk with the people talking about. We talk about pop culture, news, politics, music, sports. I just got into sports, so get ready for that. I think... The Boston Celtics will win the 2023 NBA Finals, but we're not, we're not going to get into that. Today's episode is something different. We're going to be talking about something that I feel very passionate about. Um, it's all about fitness and starting your health journey. For me, um, unlike for me this year, my, one of my New Year's resolutions is to be consistent with this podcast. I always start, never finish. Um, and I know for a lot of people, their the thing that they battle with is starting their fitness journey so let's get started i'm gonna give you five tips and this is from someone before i even start with the tips i've always been the chubby girl and this is not to say that if you're chubby you should love yourself if you're any type of way you should love yourself no 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 no, no. i love everybody i think you should love yourself for you um but for me i was just always self-conscious i was always you know, people never really like bullied me about my weight, but it was just more of like, I don't know. I just never felt comfortable because I was always the chubby one and people always had slick comments. And I just, I don't know. I didn't love my, my body. I remember when I was younger, my mom would make like these soups for me to lose weight. And I just, I literally couldn't eat the soups because they were that disgusting. So she would like blend them and it was all these things. Given I, I still am a foodie. I love to eat, but I don't know, girl. I was just always the fat girl, and it is what it is, and it is what it is, and I'm still a fat girl at heart. But whatever. The first one is ask yourself, why do you want to start the journey? I started my, if your reasoning for starting this journey is because I want to piss off my ex, or you know, like you want to do it for other people, then you're not going to stay consistent because when you do stuff for other people, it's just like, Girl, no. Or boy, do things for you because you want to feel better about yourself because you, you know, if you suffer from something, you want to help with whatever that, that health concern is. Like, do it because of you. Ask yourself, why do I want to start this journey? Because when you go through those rough days, you got to remind yourself, no, I'm doing this because I want to feel better about myself. For me, I started my journey during the pandemic. I remember, um, I'm going to insert a photo here of, I've never been photogenic. I hate taking photos. Only times I take photos is if I take them, okay? Or if I feel like I look good, 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 then I let my friends take them. But now that I'm just more confident with myself, I'm opening up to the idea of photos because before, girl, do not take a photo of me. Do not post me. None of that. Um, so... I'm going to insert here a photo of my, I want to say, because the pandemic started like 2020 of March. It didn't start that time, but like that's when things started closing down. I remember I, I was able to celebrate my birthday. I want to say it was my 23rd birthday. Um, we went out, I think it was like to Mama Sushi or whatever. This is the photo. I was, I always had a flat ass girl. It is what it is. I'm not even going to lie to you. Always had a flat ass. And then on top of that, I'm a box. Like, there was never no curve, no nothing. I was just flat in the back, flat in the front, and then I got a stomach. So it was just bad, 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 bad. But the thing is, is because mentally I wasn't confident with myself, I just, I, I don't, I don't, I don't even know how to put this into words. Like, this is how powerful the mind is. There are people that, like, look a certain way, but because they are so confident as they should be. You know, they could rock stuff that I could probably have rocked if I was confident with my body. But because I wasn't, I was so self-conscious, I didn't want to wear tight things. And even so now, I hate wearing tight things. I hate wearing two-piece bathing suits because, you know, it's sometimes like the physical, you can move faster than your mental, right? So 
we sometimes make excuses for ourselves like, well, I'm not going to work out because I don't have time. Well, I'm not going to work out because I can't go to the gym. I started my journey during the pandemic, girl and boy and everybody watching. I started during the pandemic. Everything was closed. I was stuck in the house. Mind you, I for the majority of my life, I've lived in a basement. OK, so I was stuck in my basement room, barely no space. All I had was TV and Internet. And it was like, oh, my God what am I going to do? And maybe, you know, that was the time, the best time to do it because there was literally nothing else for me to do than like for my mental sanity. I was my senior year of college, right? So I was so used to being go, 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 go. And then all of a sudden you stuck at home doing nothing. Some people were eating. For me, I felt like I needed to do something. So I literally started by just putting workout videos on YouTube. First, you started with like, they got 15 minute workout videos and then they got 30 minute workout videos. I didn't have no gym clothes. Okay. Cause that's another thing. People be like, Oh, I don't have no gym clothes. So I can't work out girl. That's a lie. That's a lie. You don't need, you know, it's cute if you got the matching outfit, but you don't need it to start working out. So anyways, I was in my little cubicle room watching my 15 minutes videos and I would just work out doing that. Yes, it would be hard. But what the thing with fitness is the more you do it, your body gets used to it. So I started with 15 and I would be like, <gasps> <laughs> like girl I could barely catch a breath but then the more you did it you know this by the second week I could do my little 15 minute vid workout video like girl was this light work and then you move up to 30 minutes and they have YouTube it's such an amazing resource because they have videos about everything I love I started with hit workout videos because I like fast paced you know doing stuff moving I'm not a yoga girl but girlies love yoga so you just start doing something Start making your mind like at this time we're doing something that requires me to move. And then everything is like you get used to what's the word I'm trying to look for? Like humans are very adaptable. So if you already start training your body and brain at this time, I, I have to move my body. Your body then starts asking for it. Like it starts hitting 6 p.m. or it's 6 a.m. And you don't move. Your body's going to feel some type of way because it's like, well, at this time, we usually move, so why are we not moving? So that's number one. Ask yourself why you want to start. Start because of something that has to do with you. Don't start your journey because you want to please somebody else because that's not a, a long-term mental thing. You know what I'm saying? Yes. The second thing is don't focus on the scale. A lot of times people start their journey and they're just so pressed on, oh, well, I want to reach... Da, 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 wait, do not, the skill is such a like a iffy thing because at one time you weigh this, then you eat, then you weigh this, then you do this. Then like the way your the scale fluctuates so much, like don't even worry about the scale. Don't worry about it. What you can do is take photos. I never took photos of my body and I wish I did because now I look back and I'm like, you know, I do have certain photos, but not like physique photos type things, but Take a photo of yourself, all angles. You don't, it's, you don't got to send them to nobody. It's your personal situation. Or you wear a pant that like is tight on you and you just try it on. You try, you keep trying it on and see how it fits differently. You know what I'm saying? But don't think in two days, if it fits you the same, then you're working out for no reason because that's not how it works. Like it takes time. So stop worrying about the scale too many people are so worried about the scale and if in two weeks they haven't lost 30 pounds and oh i gotta stop because it's not working no stop drinking th those like medicines and detox teas and this okay if you drink it drink it but don't think like well i'm gonna drink this tea so then i'm never gonna have to work out again that's not healthy also it's not healthy if you're if you're trying to lose 30 pounds in two weeks or in a month like that is not healthy. In the beginning, you'll probably lose weight faster, but then you'll probably get stagnant for a bit, right? Like if you do things the healthy way, it's not like a day to night type of situation. And especially now in the era that we're living in, everybody want a BBL body. Everyone's just like, oh, well, if I don't look like this, then my body doesn't look good. But the reality is it, a lot of people are not born with BBL bodies. Like, yes, these people got these waist that are literally this small with hips like this and butt like this but 
that's not natural. So if you're thinking you're going to go to the gym to get that body, your body was not made for that. Like, I know that I'm never going to have that BBL body. Yes, I'm I'm skinnier now. And yes, I have a little bit. You know, I ain't that flat. You know, I got a little cake now. But I'm, I can't keep going to the gym thinking I'm going to have, like, the old Kim K type butt. Even though she said she never got her body done, but she sure did. So it's like, you can't go to the gym thinking if by month three, I don't got to ask that's from here to here, then the gym's not working or me doing what I'm doing for my health isn't working. It is working. So I am against scales. If you want it, you can do it. But my thing is if you know you're going to be too attached to that scale number, just don't do it at all. Take photos or pick a clothing item and that's the way you, you'll you um, measure yourself. Number three is start small. A lot of times people start their journey and they do like, they're literally like, I'm never going to eat rice. I'm not going to, I'm going to go to the gym seven days a week. I'm going to go three times a day. And they just like, rah, rah, rah. it's such a day and night type of difference that like, you're never going to stay consistent with that, right? Like if you've never gone to the gym a day in your life and all of a sudden tomorrow you're trying to go seven days a week, three times a day, eat no rice, no carbs, no nothing, and just jump yourself in baby, you're not going to be consistent. You're going to start and stop. Start slow. It's okay. You can, to start off your journey, you could just be like, okay, I'm going to go to the gym twice a week. If you can't even do twice a week, go once, right? And then you increase. If you eat rice every day, which I, there's nothing wrong with rice. It's all about portion control, right? Like if you're eating freaking like two bowls full of, of rice, then whatever, like, at the beginning, you are going to have So like I was saying, start slowly. Don't feel like you have to rush into things because the more rush you go into it, the more likely it is that you're not going to be consistent with it. What I did was, okay, I love rice. And still to this day, I eat rice. A lot of it. But now I'm in a different part of my journey. I'm more of like gaining muscle because I already lost the weight that I wanted to. But you can eat rice. Just because you want to lose weight does not mean that you need to stop eating rice, that you need to stop eating all these things. It's all about moderation and how much you eat of it, right? So let's say you used to eat rice five days a week. Eat your rice, right? Like cut off one day and then just cut off the portion size that you usually do the other four days, right? So you'll still be able to eat rice those four days and you just won't eat it that fifth day. That's fine. For me, I also love bread. So what did I do? I replaced bread with rice cakes. So you can do rice. I used to love, one thing about me, I love Dunkin' Donuts and I used to be obsessed with their um, caramel lattes. So you know what I did? I love the silk creamers. They have the vanilla and they also have caramel. I love them. So instead of buying the coffee, I would just make it myself. I used to buy the Folgers instant coffee. Now I like to use Cafe Bustelo, put it in a greca. But you do use. Get the Folgers instant coffee, put some silk creamer on that vanilla or caramel, and that's your replacement of your Dunkin' coffee. And it's easy. It's instant coffee. Instead of that, um, that everything bagel with cream cheese, put a rice cake. Put almond butter. If you don't like almond butter, put regular peanut butter. You can put some some bananas on top of it. And that's your breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Like, just look for alternatives. Don't feel like you have to end, end it all, right? Like, unless you're trying to have a six-pack, then that's different. Because in order for you to get a six-pack, you need to be, like, on a stricter diet. But I'm not trying to have a six-pack. I'm just trying to feel confident with my body and gain my self-confidence. Again, that was my reasoning for my reasoning for starting is because I wanted to feel confident. I wanted to show up to a beach and be like, yes, I am here. Not like I would literally go with a towel all the way to like the edge of the of the beach and then, you know, put my towel. Like I was tired of that. Like I wanted to be like, yes, I look good. And well, I didn't want to take things so to the heart because you know sometimes when people bash you or say things about you when you are confident in yourself anything that people got to say about you will literally i think this is like mad low will literally just like um well that's too high 
anything that other people say about you will literally just like fall off because you're like, no, I know I'm that girl. So I don't care what other people are saying. So look for replacements. I like rice cakes. Um, you can still eat your rice. Just lower the portion size, maybe cut off two, three days. But this idea of like when you're going to eat healthy, you just have to eat salads all the time is such a lie. You can eat potatoes. You can do can cut them up, put them in an air fryer, in the oven. You can do sweet potatoes. You can do asparagus. You can do so many things. Like the internet is such an amazing resource. Google things, Google alternatives, um, and you will find them. Don't just think all I have to do is, all I have to eat is spring mix. No, girl, don't do that. Number four, have patience. I know it's hard. I know when you do that one squat or you run that mile on the treadmill, you feel like, mm, you know, I'm a little skinny or whatever. Or you might feel like you're not really skinny and you might feel like the treadmill was not doing it for you. But it takes time. Be patient. In the beginning, you will see results faster because, you know, it's the start. If you've never worked out ever in your life, when you do start doing, you'll be, you know, losing weight quickly, but then you got to be more consistent and work harder and run more miles, run faster, do more reps, put like, you know, put the weight up in order for you to see a difference. It's not going to be an overnight thing. So this is why it's very important. That number one thing, why are you starting this journey? If you're doing it for somebody else, you're not going to continue because you're just going to be, you know what? I don't really care about them. And then you're just going to stop doing it because you never started because you wanted to do it. You were doing it to please somebody else. So be patient. Time is of the essence. I love that song. Shout out to Thames. And last but not least, stay consistency. As with everything in life, and it is kind of hypocritical for me to say that fifth one, stay consistent, but... It's hypocritical because I've been trying to be consistent with this podcast and it hasn't worked, but I'm still going to try and try again and try again. And it, it, and a lot of you guys or some of you guys may do the same thing with the your workout and healthy eating habits, right? Like you might mess up one day, but that's okay. You do not have to be eating healthy all the freaking time. It's okay for you to have a cheat meal, which I don't like saying... Uh, cheat meal, cheat this, because you can eat what you want to eat. If you want to eat a slice of pizza, eat your slice of pizza. The problem comes when you want to eat a whole, you know, carton of a pizza. You know what I'm saying? If you want to eat a whole pizza just on you, then that's when it becomes a problem. If you want to eat a slice of pizza, eat it. Like, and then tomorrow you'll eat, you know, healthier. Like, it's okay. It's all about healthy eating habits. Don't feel like you have to restrict yourself because the more, in my opinion, the more people... The more you restrict yourself, the more um, unlikely you are of being consistent. You're going to stop because it's like, oh my God, I can never enjoy myself. I can never go out to eat because I can't eat an ice cream. I love ice cream, okay? So for me, I used to be so bad though. Like I used to eat Ben and Jerry's. This was when I was doing an internship that was overnight, 3 a.m. to 11 a.m. Horrible. I had to drive to New York, whatever. Um, and I remember like I would eat. This is so embarrassing. But like two, three, you know, like like those Ben and Jerry ones by myself. I don't know if it was obviously was so sad and like whatever. I love ice cream. So I used to do that. And that's where the problem comes. Portion size. I should not be eating two of those ice creams. Like that is not okay. Okay. But I could eat ice cream, right? Like I love Talenti. I buy Talenti. And if I want Ben and Jerry's, I will eat it. But because I train my body now of like, portion size you know what I'm saying even if I wanted to eat a whole pint I literally just can't like my stomach will make like uh -uh, we can't do it I also like pliable so again it's all about alternatives find alternatives for, for things that you like it's 2023 girl we got if you like something there is something out there that can replace that if you like bread there's so many other healthier bread options but I say these alternatives just for the beginning, right? When you are at your weakest point, you're more, you're more success, 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 dang girl, that's that Latina in me, susceptible to um, fall into temptation, right? So you just find alternatives. Don't cut things off because, 
you know, when you want to go out and you're you with your friends and you want to buy something, you buy it, you eat it. Then the next day, you continue on. Don't feel like, well, I ate a whole um, pie today, so that means no more diet. I hate, let me not use the word that. No more healthy eating. No, girl. You start again, as I am doing with this podcast. We start again and start again and start again. But if you want to see results, just stay consistent. Do what you got to do. Don't fall into peer pressure. Remember why you started and you just going to continue. And then when you start seeing results, like, girl, I be going to the gym four times a week. I used to go five, but now I got to go into work three days. So um, that kind of messes up with my schedule. But um, you make it work. And if you can't physically go to a gym, look up videos online. I love doing hit video, hit workouts. Go on Google, H I. Capital H, capital I, capital I, capital T, workouts. There's 15 minutes, 30 minutes. If you don't like hit workout, they have glute workouts. You just YouTube anything, girl, and they got the workouts right there for you. If you don't got weights, use water bottles. Like, just if you want something, you will do it. If you can't go to the gym, gym membership is too expensive, do it at home, girl. Boy, anyone, do it at home. When there's a will, there is a way. <laughs> Editing Shay here, one last note or an addition, an additional note is involve the people around you. I remember when I first started, I would FaceTime my friends. Um, if you have the Apple Watch, you can share your, um, your fitness tracker. I'm not sure what you call it, but the moral is you can share your fitness things with other people. And if your friends or your loved ones are like mine we are competitive so just knowing you know you just set the goals with your friends like whoever closes all their rings each week you know i'll buy you a coffee that week just doing little things like that can also motivate you because you know you don't feel alone you have other people around you and you have a sort of reward to look forward to if you do um you know close all those rings so that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. And the overall message here is just do something for yourself. Um, for me, working out just feels so good. In the beginning, I literally started just because I was so bored at home. And I was like, girl, I need to do something. So I started working out. And then it just became a habit. And now my body, if I don't go to the gym, I literally feel I'm like mad about it. Like, you know, everything, I'm a creature of habit. I like to do things, you know, I like schedule stuff. So if I haven't gone to the gym at a certain time that my body used to go into the gym, I'm going to be mad. Um, so anyways, do things for you, work out, eat healthy. Um, it's not going to be easy, but it's worth it. Don't go like diving into everything and cut off everything. That's not going to work. Um, start with baby steps and then, you know, like babies, you start crawling and then you start, you know, walking, but like falling and then you start walking and then you start running. That's how the journey is. And I know you got this. So that's the end, the end for real, for real. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also comment down below what was your um, favorite tip out of the five or how you started your own health journey. Um, I would love to hear them and yeah, see you next time. Bye. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.